everybody and welcome back to my channel it's Helsinki and today I'm going to be making this one of my favorite foods which is vegan lasagna and I don't care if it's like hot summer or cold winter I just love it so much and I've been meaning to put a tutorial together and a recipe for this so today is the day hit the subscribe button there if you haven't subscribed for my channel yet because awesome videos come out every Wednesday and um, open the comment section of, as well if you got any ideas or any questions during the video and then I will be answering to them as well as I can. Awesome, so let's get into it. Alright, so I'm just gonna start with a few simple ingredients. Here I've got onion, three tomatoes, a huge one big uh, mushroom and nut meat is one of my all-time favorites. I just really love it. So I'll just start with chopping all these ones up, okay? All right, so that's mushrooms and tomato chopped and then I've got this nut meat here um, so I'll just open that and what I usually do with nut meat is I just grab a fork and I start getting it out from the packet like this okay kind of becomes it looks a little bit like mince if you get a, if you have a better idea how to do this better, please comment below. But this is how I have liked to do it so far. Okay. While I, while I was chopping the other things, I started uh, frying the onions. I like my onions a little bit uh, brown. So it's basically up to you how much you want to fry the onions to start with, but that's what I'm doing. Next, part of the whole procedure is to just pop all these things in there, what we just um, chopped. So here's the nut meat, tomato and mushroom. Okay. So I'm kind of happy with the look. I'm just gonna pop all of this in now, all right? Okay, like this. Then we will season this a little bit as well. Uh, vegetable stock powder, Italian herbs and tomato paste. So I'll put a couple of tablespoons of this uh, vegetable stock, a couple of tablespoons of tomato puree, and then I'll just put Italian herbs. Maybe it's a tablespoon or something, a bit more. All right, and then. I will add a little bit of water, but not a whole, like not very much. Maybe 75 ml of water, no more than that, because otherwise it will get a bit too moist because there's the tomatoes that will bring moisture and the mushroom will bring moisture into that this as well. So we'll do this and then you just turn your soil on a lower heat. And leave the thing under a lid for some time. Couldn't tell you exact time, but in the meanwhile, what we're going to be doing is going to be the vegan cheese sauce. Two heaped tablespoons of plain flour, like really heaped, maybe even a little bit more because you don't want it to be too runny. All right, and then just add oil so that the consistency 
is about that. That's just how I do it, and that's how it works. Don't know if it's the way you're supposed to do it, but that's what I do. To add a little bit of cheesy flavor, I use uh, vegan cream cheese. But it doesn't really need it if you don't want to use it. We are going to use about 600 mils of plant-based milk. I have chosen to use soy milk. Cool. So it is starting to look a bit like the consistency what I want. Now at this point I'm gonna season my white sauce a little bit or my cheese sauce. So I'm just gonna turn the heat low and I'm gonna put about a big tablespoon of this um, cream cheese and all I'm gonna put in is also a little bit of salt that may be a tablespoon one and a half ta uh, teaspoon maybe one and a half teaspoons and then just mix it all in actually and you can put a little bit of pepper in this as well pepper is pretty good pepper works well okay I'm happy with this if you don't want it to be quite that thick you know just put a little bit more liquid in I think this is gonna be alright then Okay, I'll just turn the heat off. All right, leave it under a cover just for a little while. We'll have a look at this one. It is starting to look perfect consistency as well. So you really don't want it to be any more moist than what it is, because otherwise you'll end up having just too much moisture. And this is about the amount of lasagne. It'll be probably enough for four people, okay. This is looking pretty good, so I think we are almost ready to start putting this lasagna into the tray. I'm gonna turn everything off, leave them under covers just for a little bit. All right, and next bit about this is, of course, starting to put it into your dish. So I'm using this, my 99 year old mother-in-law's old Pyrex dish, which is one of my favorite items in my kitchen. Uh, just get some vegan lasagna sheets and vegan breadcrumbs, you will need them in the end. So we're gonna start putting your lasagna in here. So I'll start first with this This is one. the uh, order that I like to do this, but I think some people like to put the lasagna sheets on the bottom, but this is what I like to do. So just Remember to put a little bit of oil in your dish just to help that it won't stick. Just one lasagna sheet to start with there and then cheese sauce. Make enough cheese sauce because nothing worse than if your cheese sauce runs out in the middle of this. I guess not. Okay, so the last layer is a sangha sheet and uh, it's about right. The rest of the cheese sauce, just pour it all on the top layer, obviously, just like this. So this was a, basically a perfect amount for my liking. Like that. And now this is a trick because I don't put, um, I don't use any shredded cheese when I make my vegan lasagna. So I use breadcrumbs instead. But just make sure you check that your breadcrumbs are vegan because there are some that has dairy in them. So I'll just 
put the breadcrumbs on top like that and that makes it a really really nice and crunchy really you don't miss the cheese on top at all all right and now just put it in the oven for 40 to 45 minutes looks kind of perfect to me so it just came out of oven it looks awesome let it sit about 10 minutes before serving Does it taste good? Yeah. It's good. So basically that lasagna was actually really good. Like if you do everything exactly like I did, you can't go wrong because that tasted like delicious. Alright, hope you enjoyed the video and if you haven't hit the subscribe button yet, do it now and hit the like button, comment below any ideas or questions and of course never forget to share if you care, if you care, if you care.